Welcome back to Crowns Crypto Cave, and today a little bit of a tutorial series on the MetaTrader 5 platform and also Evolve.Markets. This is the broker and terminal that I've been using to trade Forex recently, but they don't just offer Forex. They also offer commodities, traditional markets, and magic net money, aka cryptos. I'll be porting us into the actual site right here, Evolve.Markets. Everything is processed in Bitcoin. That's both the deposits and withdrawals, and all of the PL calculations are all done in Bitcoin. No KYC as well, which I know a lot of people love. And so far, I've actually had some pretty damn good experiences with it. I've had both deposits and withdrawals go through pretty much instantly and uh, you know no 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 real issues there so far anyways the link to evolve.marks is, is in the description of this video and now let's get into the actual terminal itself metatrader 5 and this is the initial page that you'll be brought into a login password and server obviously I'm doing this uh, I'm doing this on a demo account for well obvious reasons and uh, and you might find that you might be doing a live account so make sure to switch that right over there and uh, the login will actually be generated on the evolve.markets platform and you'll set a password there as well according to that account so that'll all be spe uh, specific you know to the person anyways once you've done that then you'll be then you'll be brought into this uh, this this broad array right over here and we have four major tabs. We have the charts right over here. We have the symbols right over here, navigator tab right over here, and then a whole assortment of very valuable information at the bottom tab right here, which we are on the trade tab at the current moment in time. But we're going to be going through all the different ones. Anyways, we'll start off and I've actually made a list of all the things that I want to talk about to make sure because it's very important on a video like this. And we'll start off with the bottom tab right here, which shows the, the balance, equity and free margin to explain balance. That is what is in your account. The equity is what is in your account plus or minus whatever you have on a trade right now so that means if you are in a trade that is technically winning then the equity will show a higher balance or sorry a higher number than your balance and if you're in a losing trade then it would be a lower number than your balance free margin is what you have left in your account to actually put on more trades and right here you know this would be my my aggregate profit or loss depending upon what I'm doing any open trades will be kind of in this tab right over here and that brings me to the next segment essentially where we go over the symbols and right here on the symbols first things first I do want to just show how easy it is to look up just about anything I mean we can find you know if you want to go down the cryptocurrency route uh, we could do Litecoin right over here uh, we could do another you know add your Aussie dollar if you, if, you know if you want to do that or out or Aussie uh, Canadian dollar uh, there you go just click it right over there very simple just they have just about all of the major pairs and uh, a wider rate of cryptocurrencies, actually, very, uh, very strangely enough, and of course, traditional markets as well. We can look at the SP uh, the, at the SPX right over there, nice, and just add them all in. Uh, as far as the as, as as far as this tab goes, you can see that there are multiple different facets that we can look at. And first things first, this symbols area right here, this is typically where I am at at the, you know, more, more often than not. Going through the details, we can look at the bid, the ask, all the volumes, and all that good stuff tick size and all that good stuff trading will actually show us a one click way to trade any any of the symbols that we have on that list so that list over here on the symbols tab that is our master list and that will populate what is in this trading tab right over here which if you you know add all sorts of different things you can just well you can you can you can you can trade a whole different a whole bunch of things at one time this is i i very rarely go on this tab to be quite honest because i'm typically just trading one thing at one time but the people who are trading multi things you know all the time well this might be where you live of course we go over here to the ticks and that's just telling you about the ticks so <clears throat> anyways um, back onto the symbols and now let's go through the navigator the the navigator tab right here first things first you look at the accounts if you have multiple accounts you know maybe you separate your you know maybe you separate your, separate your accounts because that's how you're gonna manage your margin whatever it might be just you know hit the plus and there you go and that'll bring them all up and you can kind of navigate through all your different accounts very very quickly although let me remind you that you only you know with one account you can trade all different types of all different type of types of pairs over all the different types of markets so keep that in mind um, I would say that that's probably only useful if you want to just separate and make sure that you have some sort of like isolated margin in, uh, in a way which I typically don't do but I know that there are some people out there who like that the indicators tab is where we can find all of our indicators however I would say this I just about never <laughs> I don't do my charting on a platform like this as you can see it's pretty rudimentary we can we're, we're gonna go through some of the ways that you can actually make it okay but uh, for my purposes I, I typically go into trading view do my charting there and then my trading here but you could, but uh, but there are actually a good amount, uh, or at least a decent amount of built-in indicators, which uh, you might or might not find helpful. Uh, looking at the expert advisors, this is more if you're in some sort of a, uh, you know, with some sort of a special broker, they'll have your, uh, uh, they will have your advisors right over here. Uh, scripts is where you can put in your scripts, and of course services below that. 
Um, you know, if you go over your, to, to your favorites, you can favorite things. Uh, I think that that's quite self-explanatory. Anyways, now going back down to the bottom tab, I do want to round this out more because there are a number of things, uh, a number of things down here. Obviously, we're on the trade tab right now. That's where you know I'm going to be on 99.9% .9 of the time. However, these other tabs are actually quite useful um, to kind of check in with every once in a while. The exposure is telling you about your exposure with regards to all different types of positions. That means if you had, you know, if you had a Bitcoin position and then uh, and then a dollar, you know, a dollar whatever pair position, and then uh, and, uh, and then a SPY position or SPX position, it's going to show up over here. And it'll it'll actually give you a nice little pie graph of where your exposure kind of is. Uh, very nice and quite useful, especially if you're trading multiple things. But like I said, you know, for me personally speaking, I actually don't really do that. Uh, going over here to the history, that's just going to tell you the history of your trades. Um, quite self-explanatory. All your you know all your trades that you've ever done going to be in this area right over here. Uh, news, very 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 useful. News will actually news will actually list all of the you know all of the news pieces with regards to that asset that you're looking at uh, right here and uh, and actually quite useful uh, really really nice mailbox just showing your mailbox uh, calendar the calendar also very useful as well telling you about economic events uh, extremely useful if you're into forex as there's going to be events all, all the time and also traditional markets and well commodity everything but everything but magic and money essentially. Uh, company, not something that I typically go on. Uh, market, just going through the market. Uh, alerts, you can have your alerts right here. Signals, articles, you get the rest of it. Stuff that typically I don't really go on too much. Code base, you know, if you want, to, if you want to mess around with the code. But overall, for the most, for 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm gonna be on the trade tab right over here, which brings us into the next segment. Let's look at the charts now. So, by default, you'll actually be brought up with four different charts. Um, if you, if, if, if for whatever reason you lose your way to bring up these charts, you just hit this button. Right right here at the top and that'll bring up the four charts um, most of the time though like I said I'm just trading one asset so I will actually just have this this enlarge just click the enlarge but or sorry the maximize button right over here and this is actually a little bit you know significantly more helpful I'd argue so <clears throat> you know overall this is where I'm gonna be at most of the time but in case you want to navigate back there then you just hit this button and there you go you got your four tabs ready to go for the people who like to trade a billion things at once fair enough fair enough not for me but you know I I, I do understand that there's a lot of people there anyways uh, I'll bring this one up so we can focus on this and first things first we'll focus on this kind of quick uh this this quick trade tab right over here which if you hit any of these buttons you can actually enter into a position with just one click uh if you want to be a seller you can sell the you can sell the highest bidder right over here and if you want to be a buyer you can you can buy off of the off of the lowest offer right over here this will be your size and it's going to be to, if if you're trading cryptos it's going to be denominated for you know one equals one bitcoin and you know if 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 you have one Litecoin, that's gonna that's gonna equal one Litecoin. However, if you're trading forexes, it's gonna go by the standard lot. So one standard lot is worth one hundred thousand uh, dollars, essentially of you know of of base points. So you know if you're doing a ten lot, that's a million. If you're doing well, if, if you're doing a hundred, then that's you know ten million. Uh, you know yeah, you kind of get it from right there. So one one lot equals one hundred thousand for the forex. If you're trading cryptos, it's gonna be one one to one essentially. So one one Bitcoin on the side is gonna be equal one Bitcoin you know, uh, one size. So I actually have 30 going on right now. So if I were to hit the sell or the buy, that's going to enter me into a market order at, you know, at the market price um, for, you know, whatever you see right over here. So right now, if I, I mean, again, this is a demo account, not too, you know, not, uh, not too, not too crazy about it. But uh, if I wanted to go to the, let's go, let's, let's just uh, sell this guy. There you go. I enter into a position. It shows up down here. And you can see my profit, my, uh, sorry, my profit is already negative, bad, <laughs> but of course, this is just a demo account. Uh, and then from there, you actually have a lot of options with how you can manage open trades. It'll show up down here, obviously. You can see the red signals that I've been a seller. And it, you know, it tells you right here, obviously, volume, price, stop loss, uh, target point, and, uh, and swap. So if you actually double click this area, it's going to bring up this tab right here which helps you modify your open position you can put in a, you can actually build in a stop loss and a take profit at the same time so if i wanted to have a take profit of uh let's just do 5135 for example or and i wanted to have a stop loss at uh, 5165 uh, we'll, we'll call it this is a terrible trade but fair enough you know just just for demonstration purposes we can do something like this and uh and enter that in that'll populate these down here and that will be taken care of for me that'll, that'll be taken care of for me automatically uh, also, if you want to close your trade immediately, what you can do is you can just hit this X right over here. That will exit you out at market price. So if I'm a short, I'm going to be buying off of the lowest offer, essentially. 
Um, of course, you can also populate, uh, sig uh, you know, a, a ton of different, uh, a ton of different option order, uh, or, you know, order entries. Uh, if we bring up over here, we can double click the Bitcoin symbol, and by default, it'll bring you onto the market execution page, which will just do essentially a market order. You put in your volume right here, stop loss. You can do this all at the same time if you want to do that simultaneously. Fill policy, fill or kill is going to be all at once, or it's, it's going to be fill, fill it or kill it. So all at once or nothing. If you go to immediate or cancel, that means that when you put it in, if it doesn't get filled immediately, it will cancel. So there has to be something at the market, which, I mean, if you're going to do a market order, it's likely going to be there. Uh, what you might be a little bit more comfortable with is if you go to a pending order, well, we can, this is essentially just entering into a limit order. Uh, they have, they, uh, they basically call it a pending order. You can also change your symbol right here. I forgot to mention that. Um, and this will actually bring up all of the different, all of the different ones. So we can trade the major indices, we can trade the cryptos, we can trade the forexes. Uh, again, pretty self-explanatory. But more importantly, let me get rid of that. There we go. Get out of my face. And we can see that uh, if I want to put in a buy limit right here, this is where I essentially, you know, take care of all these different tabs. Uh, so by default, it's going to be on a buy limit. Volume, again, that is just the amount, your size, price, the price that you're going to be doing this for. Uh, and again, this will be a limit order. So it actually won't even let you do it at market. It'll stop you from doing that. It will not let you place the order if you have it, if, if you have it better than market. Uh, stop loss again put your stop loss in there quite uh, quite self-explanatory take profit same thing right over there you can even put in a comment if you so desire uh, just talk to yourself good stuff of course if we go to a sell limit gonna give you the same sort of tab but with regards to being a seller uh, same sort of thing everything just a little bit backwards of course um, I know that there is a little bit of ambig ambiguity between placing stop losses but uh, to be very clear if you put in a stop loss on a buy limit what you're gonna do is if, if it's on the stop if, if it's on the stop loss what you're gonna do is you're actually going to enter into a market order whenever that price point gets hit. So if I were to put, you know, uh, let's say 51, uh, 55, then that means, well, this would not even make sense. Let's, let's go. It, it would make more sense if I was uh, 5140. Then that means that as soon as, as soon as Bitcoin goes to 5140, I will get taken out with a market order. So that'll be executed at market, take profit. That will actually enter in a limit order wherever I want. So if I wanted to take profit, uh, let's say, uh, if I'm a buyer, let's say, uh, 5160, there you go. And uh, we'll enter in we'll enter in right now. We can we can actually just do this trade right here right now. There we go. Uh, 48 can actually. Hey, why? Oh, um, I probably don't have enough margin for this trade. <laughs> uh, let's see. Five. How about that? Nope. Looks like I'm uh, looks like I'm out. Anyways, more importantly, uh, this 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 type of order right here, we'll go through all the different ones now. Um, I think the next one, sell limit, pretty damn self-explanatory, just all the same stuff except uh, flip it around. Uh, more importantly, we go over here now to a buy stop, which a buy stop is going to enter you in to a market order after a certain price point has been hit. So you're going to put your price point right over here and... You're going to put your price point right over here, which as soon as Bitcoin gets to that price point, hey, I'm just, I'm about to actually exit this trade. Uh, you can see that my target point is uh, uh, 51.35. Uh, bid in the ask is right around there. Uh, but more importantly, <laughs> before I get uh, more, more distracted, um, more importantly, with the stop loss, that's going to enter you into a market order right at that price. So again, if Bitcoin were to get to 51.40 and I entered right over here, then I'm out. Uh, of course, take profit still, you know, still sort sort of the same thing. But the buy stop is the more is the more important thing to focus on here. So what does a buy stop mean? That means that when Bitcoin gets to 5148, and you can see that we are trading below that right now, then I will enter in to a market order being a buyer. So looking for some upside. So I can only place this when price action is below. So if I try to do, you know, maybe 35, I'm not going to be able to place this order anymore. If I do 50, then I'll be able to place the order again. Nice. Okay. So um, I think we got that. And again, it will it will enter into it will enter in 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 a market order. Uh, go over here to a sell stop, same thing, but with being a seller, these are, you know, I suppose ways that people would play maybe breakouts. Um, but uh, let's say I want to be a price of uh, 51, uh, 40, uh, got it. It's going to have to be below uh, stop loss. Well, let's just get rid of that. Sorry, <clears throat> 51. Let's try this. Oh, looks like I'm not going to have any margin any, uh, again. It's not going to make sense either. And there we go. But overall, what's this one going to do? Well, essentially, once Bitcoin gets to this price point, sorry, 5140, let me go back to this, then that means I will enter in to a market order short once 5140 is hit. 
And as you can see, we're trading above that right now. So this would be used to trade a breakdown uh, if, you know, if you weren't at your computer and you felt compelled to really trade that. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I suppose it could be done. Um, of course, you know, you could do stop loss, uh, take profit. And for, you know, more often than not, people are going to be on the, on, on expiration GTC, which I forgot to explain, but it's going to, you know, it's the same thing for all the buy limit, sell limit, all this stuff. GTC means good till cancel. So that order will stay on here until you cancel it. Um, you could also go over to the other ones. You could do a, a today, you know, if you just wanted to, to expire today or a specified day, you know, whatever it might be. Um, that is, uh, uh, uh that is another way of kind of auto managing it. Anyways, uh, we'll go over here now to a buy stop limit. So the other ones that we're looking at, the the buy stop and the sell stop, those were market stops essentially. This one is now going to be a limit. It's going to enter us into a limit order after a certain price point has been hit. So how does this go? That means that our stop limit price, if we have a price of, uh, let's see, if we have a a a uh, a fifty one fifty, oh, let's do let's do this. Okay, <clears throat> so what does this mean? This means that if the price of Bitcoin gets to fifty one fifty, I will be entered into a buy a a buy order at fifty one fifty five. By the same token, you know, let's try let's just try a different uh, a different a different read. If I try to have a, a stop limit price of fifty one sixty, that's not going to make sense. Um, in fact, I might actually have this. Do I have this backwards? Uh, I do believe. No, I do believe that I have this right. <clears throat> so, again, to explain this one, if I do have a stop limit price, uh, let's see. I, I need to have it overhead. Let's let's say it's fifty one eighty, and um, and then I have a. Well, let's just get rid of this because that's going to be eaten up all my margin right now. Or maybe I could just lower this down. Whoops, it's not going to help too much. Uh, let's see. Let's actually just exit that right over there. Okay, so what would this do? If I have a stop limit price of 51.80, then that means when the price action of the underline hits 51.80, I'll be entered into a limit order at 51.55. And <clears throat> let's see, do I have this? Let me just make sure. I have this backwards. Sorry, I apologize about that. I, have a, I apologize about that. That's actually different on derivative, I believe. Anyways, uh, 51. So, so I have that backwards. The price is where the limit order will be placed. Apologies. So if I have a, so if I have a price of 5180, then that means when price action gets to 5180, I'll be entered into a long order, a stand, a limit long order right at 5155. So we can actually just do an example of this right now. Uh, we'll do 5160 and um, we can actually just keep it the same. So that plays it down here. So that means when 5160 uh, gets hit, you'll see me enter into an uh, into a live order at 5150 what is what is it? 515890. Is that was that it? No, fifty one, fifty five. There we go. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Anyways, um, once let's let's bring this back up. I'm gonna cancel this for now. But let's now go back into pending order and go back to sell stop limit. So same thing right over here. Just kind of switch around the do the old switcheroo. So let's say um, we have a a price limit of uh, fi we're gonna have to be fifty one fifty, and then so that means when price of the underline gets to 51.50, I'm gonna enter in a sell limit at 51.55 for one, you know, one contract essentially. So we can put that in, and there you go. Uh, I'll leave this one in here just just so we can see if price action does get there. In fact, I'll I'll goose it up just a little bit so um so we can uh, so we can maybe see this a little bit better. There we go. So when price action gets to 51.54, then I'll enter into a sell limit. Um, a little bit higher, about one dollar high, I believe it was. Anyways, okay, um, yeah, I'll leave that one on there. So let me just make sure that I'm getting through all of the different things that I want to talk about. Okay, got that, got that, got that, got that. Now let's talk about the charts tab. So going back on over here to the charts tab at the top of the, you know, at the top of this list, you can see that it brings up all sorts of different, uh, you know, all sorts of different um, useful things. First things first, I want you put on. Do I want to put on a grid? Well. You know, if you want, some people like this, I, I I typically don't. Like I said, I really don't do my charting on something like MetaTrader Five. Uh, I do prefer a bar chart on this, especially when I'm trading anything other than cryptos. It just makes more sense to me. But that's you know that's a personal thing. I think a lot of people are going to be on candles to perhaps align uh, depth of market. Some people like to look at this. It's just going to show you what's on either side at any given moment in time. Just essentially showing you the order book. Um, we could go over here, look at uh, the different time frames. I'm currently on a five minute. We could go over to we could go all the way to a one minute. We could go to a tick chart actually, which is quite fun. But uh, but but you know for <laughs> for a little bit more reasonableness, I'll go to a 15 minute chart. There we go. And now let's bring this back up. And I'm going to put on the volumes. I think that that would be quite useful. 
as uh, you know, well, probably gonna want to know that. And uh, let's go back on over here. We could do tick volumes if you want to know the, if you want to know the volume of each and every little tick. Uh, again, something that I don't really look at too often. And then we have the properties right over here. You can do you can you can hit it from right over here or with F8 or you can right click on the chart and hit properties right here. And that's going to bring up this screen, which will start you off on the common. Like I said, I like I prefer actually a bar chart when I'm looking at this. Um, you know, all this I pretty much keep default. No real reason to change that. Uh, over here, I actually do like to, to show a few different things. I will show the open, high, low, close right here. I do like that. Um, show quick trading buttons. Yes, that's this guy right over here. Show bid price line. Yep, that's that's basically where you're putting your orders. Um, show period separators. Uh, don't want that on show grid. Don't like that. Show take volumes. Not not interested. Uh, show trade levels. Yeah, I, you know I like that as well. Going over to the colors, you can just make your charts pretty if you decide if you decide to do that. Like I said, again, I don't do my trading on this on on on. I sorry, I don't do my charting on MetaTrader Five. Um, okay, so that that describes that. Now let's go through and make sure that I'm getting through the list. There there we go. Symbolist advanced symbols. Yeah. Okay. So now let's go over here to, do I want to go to, you can go to insert over here and we can bring up our indicators. And so if you do want to put your indicators on something like this, then we can, you know, put, uh, put it on right over here. They do have actually a pretty damn good, um, you know, pretty damn good, uh, uh, built-in feature if you want to do if you want to put in some on balance volume just put that on and just uh, we'll, we'll do with default it'll bring up the oscillator right over here very simple very easy um, again you can do this with all sorts of different things if you want to do objects if you want to like actually do your charting here you can put in horizontal lines uh, vertical lines trend lines all these sorts of different things like I said again I don't ever do my charting here I've, I've not, I never play around with these you can do your fibs GANs channels shapes Elliot's if, if you so if you so desire and uh, and that's basically the extent to to what I actually use that for uh, tools over here. If you want to enter in your new order form from here, you can. Uh, I don't really see the I, I don't really see the the validity of you know the the reason why I do it like this. But hey, fair enough. I, I understand that some people like like that. It'll just bring about that same sort of order entry form uh, that that same sort of order entry form. Okay, cool. Um, um, um. Okay, let's go back on over here. We're on tools. We go to options. This is going to bring up the server. You know, you can go through all your different things right here. Again, just kind of redone it, but another way towards towards getting towards it. Um, okay, all right. So I think I spoke all about that that I wanted to. Let me just make sure that I've hit everything. Okay, we talked about properties, talked about different symbols, and order up. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, excellent. I think that's it. I think that's it. So again, this is just a this is just a demo account right here. Um, they'll start you off with a demo account. You put whatever you want in it. Do, you know, it doesn't matter. Again, everything operates off uh, off of Bitcoin. So all of your P and Ls is going to be shown on Bitcoin. That might take a little bit of getting used to for some people. Um, completely understand that. But hey, uh, when it comes down to it, you know, pretty intuitive overall. And uh, while it might be a little bit, you know, might be a little bit overwhelming when you first look at it. Once once you've had a day or two to kind of digest it, very simple. Uh, we'll bring up this order one more time. Let's see how we're going. Oh man, we didn't quite get there. Now did we? Didn't quite get there. Never never got the order in. Well, fair enough. We'll just delete it now. Don't need to be in there. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes, we went through that. Let me just make sure. I think yes, I I do believe that we spoke about everything that I want to uh, everything that I want to do. You could also hit a new order from here if you wanted to as well. Again, uh, I actually pr pretty much only do it predominantly from just double clicking this area right here. Uh, the easiest way to do it. Anyways, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Again, I've had about uh, I've, I've had about a couple of weeks to really play around with the Evolve.Markets broker, and no problems just yet. Actually, quite smooth, and all all withdrawals, all deposits have been near instantaneous. Actually, uh, pretty damn pretty damn smooth. We should actually go quickly show what the trading fees are look are, are looking like. Uh, we'll go over here. They're they're pretty they're pretty normal though. Uh, you just kind of your standard for. Um, uh, uh, standard for Forex, essentially, uh, 350 per lot per side, metals 350 per lot per side, commodities 350 per lot per side, indices one point per contract. Um, and, uh, and yes, I'm on, um, to, to, to be completely clear, this is MetaTrader 5 that we're looking at right now. So of course, with that said, I think that's going to do it. Again, if, you, if you're interested in, in, using this, the, in using this exchange, then there is a link in the description of this video. And with that, I'll leave you there. Take care and see you soon.